Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Ashley, and in my last video, I talked about Sarah Addison Allen, who is one of my favorite authors. I mentioned that she has a new book out. Um, that book is called Other Birds, and despite having pre-ordered it almost immediately when I saw it announced on her Instagram page, I just haven't felt in the right mood to read it. And I love her book so much, I didn't want to do a disservice by reading it when I wasn't really in the mood. Tonight, I'm feeling a fall vibe. Uh, I got out some of my, my seasonal candles, and I thought it might be nice to do a little reading vlog. to come up here. right now. So I've read the first four chapters of Other Birds, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I understand why there are so many people making kind of spooky videos about this. This story so far, which again, I'm only four chapters in, is a little bit spookier than her other stories. So I just realized I never read the blurb to you guys. So, down a narrow alleyway in the small coastal town of Mallow Island, South Carolina, lies a stunning cobblestone building comprised of five apartments. It's called the Della Wisp and is named after the tiny turquoise birds who, alongside the human tenants, inhabit an air of magical secrecy. When Zoe Hennessy comes to claim her deceased mother's apartment in the Della Wisp, she meets her quirky, enigmatic neighbors, including a girl on the run, a grieving chef whose comfort food does not comfort him, two estranged middle-aged sisters, and three ghosts, each with their own story, each with their own longings each whose ending isn't yet written. When one of her new neighbors dies under odd circumstances the night Zoe arrives, she is thrust into the mystery of the Della Wisp, which involves missing pages from a legendary writer whose work might be hidden there. 
she soon discovers that many unfinished stories permeate the place and the people around her are in as much need of healing from wrongs of the past as she is. To find their way, they have to learn how to trust one another, confront their deepest fears, and let go of what haunts them. I hadn't actually read that until right now. Um, I started this book off almost completely blind, um, but I'm having a great time so far. I really want to know more about Zoe. I want to know more about Charlotte, her neighbor. I want to know more about these ghosts. They've only shown up very briefly so far. Um, and I'm looking forward to more of like the magic that makes Sarah Addison Allen books so wonderful. So I'm going to stop reading for tonight. I have to go uh, make some lunches for this week, get the kitchen cleaned up, but I will bring you guys in next time I pick up this book. So it's been a few weeks, two weeks, since I actually started reading this book. I put it down after I got to chapter four. Cha yeah, I got through chapter four. I'm on chapter five. Um, and it's past Halloween now. It's We're well into November. My mom and sister came to visit, and I didn't get a chance to make it very far in this book. It was a great visit. They helped me install all of these curtains behind these curtains right here is a gorgeous closet um, that I'm very excited about. These curtains are on the window side. Um, it looks a little bit like a theater or, um, I don't know, I'm in a, a studio somewhere shooting or something, but those are just the curtains in my bedroom. I think it makes it look very fancy and I'm very excited about them. So tonight, it's raining outside. It's actually cold here in Southern California and I thought I have a few things I want to get done before I dive in, but let's get a few things done and then I will do some more reading. up and let's make some more progress on this book.
Friday today, and I have the day off work, which is really nice. Uh, so today I thought I would take you with me as I do a few things around the house, do a little bit of tidying up, and then take a walk. It's getting really dark in the evening now, around maybe 4.30 or 5. It gets dark here, so I can't go for an evening walk anymore. Uh, so I thought I would take you with me as we go on a walk today. And then I'm planning on cozying up with other birds. I don't have any plans for this evening, so I'll stay in, do some reading. Maybe I'll finish the book tonight. We'll see. I had to change my clothes because they got too wet and also I was a little warm. This is what it's like in fall in California. I don't know if you can see it, but the mountains are gorgeous today. So I just got back from my walk and it was a really, really nice day today. I'm really glad I took that walk. Um, fall in Southern California is not really very fall-like. The last couple of weeks it has actually started to get rainy and chilly, like at night it's down in the 50s. Um, but today uh, on this walk right now it was about 65, it was sunny, it was gorgeous. The rain that we've been having made the mountains particularly beautiful. It was just a really nice, clear, gorgeous day for a walk. I love going for a walk. I did try to find a lot of um, fall foliage kind of for the walk. I thought that would make a more atmospheric video, but to be honest, it really doesn't look that much like fall out there. Since it's such a gorgeous day outside, I thought I would make the most of the afternoon and do a little bit of reading outside. 
So I am going to grab a snack and a comfortable folding chair and head out to my patio. So I've just finished reading Other Birds. Uh, I, I read outside for a few hours and then came inside, did a little bit of reading. It was getting cold and not unpleasant outside. So I came inside, uh, made myself a quick dinner, uh, read through dinner, um, and now I've just finished up the last couple of pages. Honestly, this, like, I love Sarah Addison Allen. I, I love all of her books, but I think honestly this might be one of my favorites. On the surface, all of her stories are straightforward. Um, there are a set of characters who have some problems in their lives. Um, they're in a very, they're all set in the South, in the Carolinas, um, and they all have, the town that they live in always has a very interesting history and uh, that kind of plays into the themes of the book. This one is no different than that. Um, it tells the story of Zoe, who is a teenager going off to college, who moves into an apartment complex, a very small apartment complex with only a few residents, and befriends the residents. Um, and soon after she moves in, one of her neighbors who was a very controlling and um, mentally ill woman passes away. And the story revolves around Zoe meeting all of her neighbors, helping them with their kind of purpose and their, their stories. There's a sweet kind of subtle romance um, it's not the main story by any means. The, the postscript in this book, or the author's note at the end of this book, made me tear up a little bit. Sarah's mother and sister passed away while she was writing this book, and I, I don't want to speculate on her frame of mind or her intentions in writing the book, but this book does have a lot to do with the death, um, as you guess you could expect from someone dying very early on in it. But it's, a, it's about death, it's about trauma, I guess, and a, about having a rough childhood and how you can deal with that, but in a very non-dramatic and comforting way, if that makes sense. I think that there is a lot of wisdom that can be gained from reading, I don't know, what used to be called women's lit or chick lit. I don't know what it's called anymore, but like because I don't think that's a very feminist term. Um, I think there's a lot of wisdom that can be gained from it, though, even though it's a very, very comforting and, and lovely books, you know, like they make you feel warm, like a nice hug, everyone's happy in the end. 
um, they've all learned something and they're doing better in their lives. But I still think there's a, even though they're, people, you know, things don't have to be all depressing and sad for there to be wisdom and something to be gained from reading the book. So that's my small soapbox about that. Yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I will definitely read it again. It'll go on my top shelf, which is where all of my favorite books go. Uh, and if you are looking for something cozy um, and nice with a little bit of quirkiness in it, I would recommend picking up other birds. I think it was a very good read. And with that, I think I'm done with the reading vlog portion of it. Thank you everyone for watching uh, and living my life with me as I finished reading this book. And I hope you all have a lovely November.